I went to my local Arby's to test the ice and water. And this is what we found. Now remember, for a bacteria to be dangerous in water, microbiologists will look at two things. We'll look at the quantity and the quality of the bacteria. And from our quantity test, we determined that the amount of bacteria in this water was over 5,000, which is 10 times more than what's considered safe. The only thing left to do now was to test the quality of the bacteria. So I sent out this plate for identification, which does take some time. I now have the results and the bacteria found in the Arby's water is from the genus Pseudomonas, but it's actually the species Pseudomonas mosseli. Now the question we need to ask is, is this bacteria pathogenic? And the answer is yes. This Pseudomonas is considered an opportunistic pathogen, meaning if the correct conditions are met, it'll infect you. However, from the peer-reviewed papers that I read on this bacteria, it's extremely rare for this bacteria to infect a healthy human. Specifically, this bacteria will typically only infect those that are immunocompromised, meaning their immune systems aren't fully functional. And even then, it seems like a couple rounds of antibiotics was able to wipe it out pretty easily. Another question that you might want an answer to is, how did this bacteria get into the water in the first place? Well, this bacteria is commonly found in soil and in dirt, and it's probably on some of your hands right now. So obviously what must have happened is someone with contaminated hands touched something in that water dispenser area, and that Pseudomonas outcompeted everything else. So is Pseudomonas mostly very concerning? For you and many others, it probably won't affect you at all. The only difference that you'll probably notice is that the water kind of tastes funny. However, Arby's, you should probably reach out to your franchises and make sure that they're a little bit more diligent at cleaning out their soda dispensers. Next place I'll be testing is Starbucks.